Welcome back to another wonderful, chilly episode mm. of Booze Briefs. Hey. I'm Matt. I'm Derek. And today, we're going to have a little knob in our life. Ooh. Ooh. Down by the creek. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no. We're going to have Knob Creek. Ah, that that's totally sounds, different. That sounds much better. I didn't want to have to hit the age restrictions totally, for this video. Totally or... different. Whew. We have a fun one. Uh, it is the small batch, right? Uh, no, Knob Creek 12-year. Uh, doesn't say anything about the... Oh, it does say small batch. You son of a bitch. I read. Yeah. It's, <laughs> Yay! It was on the other side for me. I couldn't... Sneaky, uh, sneaky. The label apparently made by Notre Dame fans or something. Ooh. I don't know why, but... uh, mm. Yeah, should be good. I mean, you put adjectives at the beginning of this episode. I so did. You, you said it's going to be wonderful. I, well, I'm hoping. I haven't had this Knob Creek. I've had uh, all the rest of them except for the maple smoked bacon... You don't want country that? Country breakfast, you know, sponsored by... What's the Cracker Barrel? I, I have zero desire to have that in my life because that just sounds bad. It does. It sounds really bad. But this one sounds really good. Yeah. So I got this one, I don't know, four or five months ago. Okay. And I have been nursing it because Ooh. I don't want to get the bottle too low before we give it a review. He's sweet like that. I am. So this is from Beam Centauri. It's Jim Beam product. 77% corn, 13% rye, 10% malted barley. Color is bronze. If that helps you, I don't. I don't know why they feel the need to tell you the color. Um, but, For the seeing impaired, color seeing impaired, mm -hmm. color blind. Also, so this was originally a limited release in 2019, and now it is more widely available. And I forget if I said I paid 60 bucks for it. You didn't. Okay. But that's a good price for a 12 year. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, yeah, why not? Yeah. Even though it does have the extremely annoying yes wax. Fix your wax. That's the worst wax in all of waxdom. Well, I mean, like, makers patented their wax. Good. Well, they did it right. Yeah. They should. I would, too. Hey, you made a good product? Make it your product. Mm hmm But this looks like they heat-sealed it with a four-year-old. <laughs> Not with the four-year-old, but by a four-year-old. Yes. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so their website has nothing about it as well. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's it good. just says that it's a really good bottle of whiskey. I was like, okay, yeah, sold. Great job, guys. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I went back to breakingbourbon.com. Mm -hmm. They say the nose on here is toasted oak, vanilla, caramel, and fresh baked bunt cake. I love bunt cake. The, these scents come across as rich and creamy with a very pleasing delivery. So is bunt cake with icing or without icing? Uh, it just says bunt cake. Mm. They did capitalize the B in bunt, so. That's, well, they did it right then. Yeah, good, good for them. Can't get the wax right, but you can get that right. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it smells delicious. Mm hmm. It just smells like rich to me. I, I don't. Thick. Yeah, it smells thick. Mm -hmm. There's no, like, bright cinnamon. I drank a little bit of that Rowan's Creek again last night. Well, I've, I drank a very little bit, and honestly, I probably had this much left in my glass, and I just, like, sink. <laughs> mm. It's definitely got some, some stank behind it, some, mm -hmm. some zip. What's the thunderproof? I'll say it's 50%. Huh, that drinks hotter than 50%. Mm -hmm. To me. So it's funny, this does not have the same chewy texture that the Breckenridge had. Not in close. Which is surprising considering it's both older and higher proof. Yeah, that's odd. I know the mash bills are different and all that Maybe sort of stuff. Maybe it's the rye in it? Yeah, because the Breckenridge is a higher rye. Product. That's probably why. It's, I mean, it's tasty, for mm -hmm. sure. It's, it's a different animal. It's so different. Mm -hmm. Like, there's more... This is a spicier drink than so. Knob Creek is. You're even getting, like, I'm just looking at this, mm -hmm. and it's almost got a little bit of a red tinge to it. Mm -hmm. Like, like you, a mahogany color. More than bronze. Yeah. I, I definitely get a lot more of the fact that this has been aged in oak. Yeah. Like, a lot of the brightness that you'll get in younger bourbons, you're not getting that in here. This is a lot more oak. Like this, this is a good uh, leather chair bourbon. Hmm. Kind of want to sit in a nice leather chair. The ones that has the little knobby nails on it. Yeah. The little, yeah, the bronze uh -huh. nails. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's where they're getting it from. I don't think so. You don't think so? Mm -mm. Shoot. Thought I was onto something there. Mm hmm. Uh, let's see what they say about the taste. Yeah, extra time in the barrels noticed right away. Lots of oak. Oh, a hint of leather. There you go. <laughs> Searching deeper. Sweeter touches of vanilla and marshmallow. Sprinkling of white pepper? Huh. Nice. 
You just salt bay the white pepper in there. <laughs> like, what? What are they doing? Right over the top of the barrel, or is it like mm -hmm. during the process? And then gets all the good arm sweats mm -hmm. and oils in there. That's right. Very COVID friendly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here, have my arm salt. Yeah. Pepper. So I think it's good. Yeah. It it doesn't excite me. It doesn't disappoint me. No. It's just it's it's good. Yeah. If you want something where you can taste some age to it, if you really like oaky whiskeys, or if you're a, a wine drinker, you like really oaky wines, and you want to get into whiskeys, and you want that kind of flavor, that's something that's right up your alley, probably. Let's see if water changes that for the better for me. So maybe bringing down the proof can open it up a wee bit. Anything on the nose? Uh -uh. I think it takes the nose down. Mm -hmm. I think it takes the flavor down too. I still remember the stag. I was so amazed that at like sixty some percent, I could just go. You get deep and like no burn, none. Ooh, that was a chilly little breeze. A little, a little brisk outside <laughs> here in Old North Kakalaki today. Ooh. It is the middle of January. Mm. I don't, uh, do you, I'll let you grade first. All right. This may be the first one we, we differ quite a bit on. You think so, huh? I think so. I hold Knob Creek up there. Like, you know, Elijah's my jam. Mm hmm And Knob is, like, right there. I, I used to drink a bunch of Knob Creek. And then That's true. Yeah. I went kind of everywhere else. Mm -hmm. Right. I had used, at one time I had three or four bottles of Knob Creek on my shelf. Yeah. I think I have one. Because I remember we've done, like, the... Did the rise. The, yeah, like, what is it? The twice quarter, barreled rye. Quarter cask. Yeah. Single and, barrel. And then we did the single barrel from 2009. Mm-hmm. So that was, I mean, that's a, that's a legit bottle. Yeah. Of rye. Let me get one more sip, because I have a number in mind. I want to see if I'm honing in on this. Okay. 82. God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a stab you. Swear to God, I'm a stab you. <laughs> I was even going to be a little bit more generous again with 83. I was, I was pondering 83 and then I took that last hit and I was like, you know what? Because I'm thinking, okay, $60. That's not an inexpensive bottle. It's not a splurge, but it's a, you know, it's a good price bottle. Old Forester 1910, 1920 are $60. They kick the shit out of this bottle. I'd rather have, um, Single barrel double oaked over there. Oh my god, yeah. any day. Uh, I'd, rather have, I'd rather have regular double oaked, yeah, and put the nine dollars in my pocket. Yeah, just it's good. If you're a Knob Creek fan and you want to find all the different expressions of it, go for it. I don't know, and I've heard people say they like this better than the 15. Wow, and I don't know how much the 15 is, but it's okay. It's, yeah, it's decent. To me, I mean, it's not bad. There's nothing like we've said before. There's nothing offensive about this at all. No, but it doesn't. I mean, there's a little bit of. Yeah, to me. I'm, I'm not gonna buy another one. I I wouldn't buy that. What's the price point? This would have to be for you to buy it. I say I, price point. Why do I say price point? Just say price point. That means nothing. What what price would this have to be for you to buy it? I don't know, for a twelve year, like forty five bucks, I'd pay for that. Just for the taste. Like, don't worry about it being a twelve year. I was like, because <laughs> the number I had is thirty-five dollars. I'd yeah. buy this again. Yeah, I think I like regular Knob Creek better than that. I don't. It's hell. Think of all the makers we've had. Oh, the makers kills that. Mm -hmm. Like the forty-six, even the regular forty-six, let alone the forty-six cask strength. The flavors in that are far outweigh mm -hmm. the flavors in that. I just think it's a little flat. Yeah, it's just all I'm getting now is oak. Yeah, so just. And if you like that, you like it. But some people don't like rye because they don't like the taste of rye. But if you want to drink a lumber yard, this, go. Is, this is your glass, good yeah. sir or madam. Yeah. If you like yellow wood. <laughs> oh, that's pine. Never mind. <laughs> you don't want to be drinking pine juice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. So, uh, yeah, there's our, there's our thoughts on Knob Creek 12. It's a bottle of whiskey. It is. It's That's... You nailed it. That'd be a good slug. <laughs> Maybe that's why their website... You know what? <laughs> Shit, I'm going, I'm going to their you website You're wikipedia this. No, um... <laughs> Knob Creek 12. Let me go to their website. Let me see what it's actually said before we sign off on this video. Ah, here we go. Full, fr 
full proof for full flavor. An honest pre-prohibition style bourbon. That is all that is on their website about it. Then that, that, that's all that needs to be said. Yep. With that, go on the website. We got to just redid that. Yeah. Boozebriefs.com. Yeah, there's a shop on there now. Hey. You can buy gear. What? You could be a Booze Briefs fanboy or girl. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Be great. I'd love to walk into the grocery store and be like, holy hell, that's a Booze Briefs shirt. Yeah. That'd I think be great. I've got stickers up there too. Do you want to put a sticker on your uh, yeah. computer, car? Yeah, that's a good idea to put it on your car. Le- left arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, forehead? Oh, God. Speaking of, so, of bad ideas of things to put on cars, there are other states. Ohio being one, I'm from Ohio, where after you've had two Deweys, you get a different color license plate. It's a, oh. like the license plate is yellow, and that means, I could be wrong on the number of Deweys, but once you've had multiple, your license plate means the cops can pull you over anytime. Like that, you have probable cause like attached to you at that point. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I've seen those license plates parked at bars. Not restaurants, just bars. I'm like... <laughs> Get a cab. Get an Uber. Do something. You didn't. You didn't know what that meant, did you? Don't sir? do that. <laughs> yeah. But obviously, their decision making isn't the greatest in the world. But you know what? Your decision making is great because you're watching booze briefs. So check us out on Facebook, Instagram. Go to the website. Check that out. Uh, and we'll see you on the next one. We're. Uh, I think we're going to get into a little bit of rye yes. here. Going. We got a really awesome bottle of rye here. So we'll uh, talk to you guys soon. Bye, everybody. Cheers.